everybody and welcome to a new year. We've already introduced the new year of 2017 and guess what? Isig Emporium Express Reviews are amazing for 2017 because they'll still be going on. But we're adding this now. Isig Emporium Vlogs. This is where we're going to dive down and get really in detail of things and tell you if we, um, how we really feel about it. If it's a pain in the down. bud. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> pain in the butt, or if not. So if you don't know me already, I'm Annette. My name's Tim. And we are here to tell you things about E-Sig Emporium and what we feel about things. And to show you some things that you probably don't see in the shop because you're overloaded with all the mods and RDAs and tanks and RTAs and everything under the sun. Bailey. <laughs> so we're just going to pinpoint some odds and ends things to you guys to help building a little easier for you guys. I know a lot of you guys gonna like come in here and when you purchase you don't know the first thing and then you sit down with him and he goes through some things but this is like a little in depth of what he does so as you're sitting at home and you're YouTubing and you're trying to figure out things you can actually I think the box is cute. Look at this. <laughs> I like this part. I don't know I can't get it out all the time. Look. Shiny. Look how nice that is. And you know, comes in a little with a cork. Um, what you have I essentially on? have mine on the coil master tab. I don't know if you guys can see, but there you go. These are older coils. I'm just gonna teach you guys how to this spruce is the RTA up. when it's all together. So it's pretty and it would look pretty on your mod. Let's go. See you guys. I love my goons. Look at this one. It's a little bit easier than what he's doing with over there, but there's sticks, and then you have this. I don't, I don't know about you. If I didn't know what a dot mod was, I like it. It's a nice, cool design, don't you think? Especially dipped, what, 18 times, I believe, mm -hmm. in gold, yeah. so it won't wear off. Oh, if you haven't been here before, we do want to hear some comments. So if you have some input, like what we can do differently, or if you like what we're doing, um, definitely comment, like it, and uh, leave us some comments. And yeah, then, we'll get back to you guys. I mean, we're really good at getting back to you guys. You guys are the main thing. Yeah, so, I mean, definitely do that. I want to uh, improvise that some of our vlogs that we're going to do, we are going to start doing some giveaways too, so it might be in your best interest to stay through the whole yep. vlog. I promise we won't be long and drawn out either. No, okay? no. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we'll be giving away sometimes, what, free juices? Yes. Uh, maybe some mods, maybe, maybe some hardware. Who knows? Just stay tuned to the end of the, uh, Episode. the vlog. <laughs> vlog. Do anybody notice how cold it is outside? It is flipping eight so degrees. Why don't you give me a minute here? We're going to dive down here so you can get an in-depth okay, look so at this. If you notice how spaced out the coils are, kind of, they look kind of beat up. And we're going to go in and shape them up a little bit. Let's see. There we are. Shape them up. Sure, we get it going again. Ooh, feel the heat. So when you take this off, does the whole bottom piece like does it have to be removed from the glass? Yeah, you have to with the petries. You have to unscrew the five ten screw at the bottom of it. Okay. That way. So that's why it's, some, it's a real pain in the butt because okay. you got to unscrew. It's a floating deck. Okay. So if anybody's worked with a floating deck, such as like the Moonshot, okay, they're a little pain. But once you get it down, it's the best flavor it's in the world. One of the greatest small tanks. Do you think that's probably why a lot of people don't do the RTA? Because they think it's a pain in the butt and they just don't want to work with it. Yeah, you gotta have patience. Yeah. Patience is a virtue. Patience, young Padawan. 
What? Patience, young Padawan. Okay. Star Wars. Somebody hasn't seen Star Wars. No. I'm always the last one to go see what needs to happen. <laughs> oh, so am I. <laughs> I wait for it to come out. So what are you doing? Are you? Putting... I'm trying to get the short out of the the wire. Oh. The short being how it lights up. You see yeah. that? Yes. I see. That's it. a short. Okay. I'm gonna try Good to get to that know. out. We might be. I probably got one more week left of these coils, and that's it. The way it looks. Cool. All right. Now he's done that. Let's go back up above, and so he can put some cotton in this thing. Cotton, and, cotton, cotton. And really, actually, show you how the RTA works. All right, guys. We're up here from him working on that coil and getting that short out of it, and like. Down below, he said he's going to put some cotton on this. And what are you using today? Native wick. Native wick. If you haven't done the wind native wick, you're missing out. Oh, and I was, I don't know if I mentioned the ceramic sticks, but these help out a lot. Yeah. And if you're wrapping your own, these help out a lot too. The coil master, along with the coil master. Yeah definitely need to have. Um, what makes native cotton the best? Well, it's being that, well, it's super absorbent. Very absorbent. Look at that. Yeah. Look how thick. You know what it reminds me of? Tampon string? <laughs> no? Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> You're handing to Andrew Caesar. Go ahead and just cut that piece in half. Those are important pieces to know. And yet, if you're not familiar with the Petri, it is a pain to take apart. Correct. Like, I'm over here while he was working on the coil thing. I was trying to take it all apart. And I was, I mean, I got two pieces off. That's it. <laughs> And you said I had to untwist this? Got yeah, unscrew the bottom pin. Oh, that's the problem. So you have to unscrew this bottom pin. And if you lose the bottom pin, they give you another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be my, my, uh... For anybody that's a klutz like me. <laughs> or me. <laughs> I think this, I mean, if you don't have the patience for this, this is probably not the RTA for you. This is probably <laughs> not my style of an RTA. But it sure is pretty. Okay, so I took out the bottom. And you better have hands, oh, man of steel. Look at the deck there. You're probably like, what? What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's what I thought the first time, too. But once you get used to it, it's pretty neat. I like the well in this. It's pretty deep. It's a very well thought of RTA. So let's hear some feedback. What kind of uh, RTAs are you guys working with? Do you like the RDA or do you like the RTA? What's your preference? And if it is your preference, whatever preference you have, tell us why. Um, definitely need to know that. So with the Petri, just kind of like fan them up a little bit, get all that loose cotton off of it. What am I doing wrong? Why can't I get that back in there? Because. You gotta put the deck in first. Like that. Oh. Then you take the bottom deck. 
and you screw it back on. Is there instructions for that in here? No, no instructions. Then you screw it back on. And he's right, remember when I showed you that one glass bottle? It does, it has an extra pen on the bottom in there. With two coils and then there's a few screws in there for your deck. Pretty cool. Oh, it's got washers in here too, and extra glass and an extra tip. So, pretty good. Oh, it's got one of these things too. What is that thing called again? Allen key. An Allen key. <laughs> Until I don't do it. I don't know why they call it an Allen key. Does anybody know why they call it an Allen key? I don't. Education of the day? Let us know. Why? Alright, so, you want your cotton fluffed out like that. Fluffy. Then I'm going to go in between the two cottons and just trim like a little angle. So it has like that little fishtail. While he was showing you that, I was noticing the design on the inside of the box. Not only do you have the dot mod on the front of it, but now you have the nice inside. Did Girls and shiny things, guys. <laughs> shiny things, it's shiny. All right, for this, right, there goes the phone. I feel like I'm in a Mario's. It is, oh. I'm leveling up. Okay. He's got the occultist juice today, so if you have not tried this juice before, you should. We have it in stock. We're going to be restocked um, coming up this week, so. Shout out to occultists. Shout out. Juice Society. You guys did a pretty good job with this and these flavors. Awesome job. Thank you, guys. So you have to, like, literally... Juice it up first. Juice it up first before you put the RTA and fill it up? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because the fun part is you're going to have to take it and smash it down. What happens if you don't smash it down? Well, I don't want to know because maybe juice might go everywhere. If you don't pop it down in right. So just please make sure you squash it down in the little grooves. You put it together already, but. Oh, yeah. And there you have it. How to put it, read cotton your RTA. And you gotta make sure, so lessons today is make sure there's no shorts in your wire. Make sure your cotton is always shoved down. And um, know that the RTA, the Petri RTA, is a little bit of a pain. Once you get it um, down pat, it's an amazing vape, which he's going to show you right now. Once he's been vaping on this thing, he's been vaping on it, and that's all he's been vaping on. Now, here comes the hard part. All that tucking, you have to go back in, unscrew that bottom pin again. I know, right? Why? No, because you can't screw it up in the in the petri just like this. You have to take it, take it off. That makes no sense. Take it, match up the grooves because there are grooves on the inside. Match it the grooves of your air holes. Sounds really complicated. It's a hard one. And then once you get it in, just pop it down in. If you have some extra left over, that's all right, of cotton, don't worry about it. It's messy too. <laughs> okay. Then you take it. Uh, 
Where'd uh, the grooves. Hmm? Where'd the screw go? Screws right here? Oh. And you just screw it back in, nice and tight. Don't over tighten it. Put that pin back in. Snug like a bug in a rug. All right. Take your air con channel ring. Air channel. Air channel ring. Or your ring. Air ring. Now it's time to put some juice in it. Time to fill it up. Oh god, I hope it don't leak everywhere. No. When the cool style with this is that floating deck, you won't have no leaking issues. That's a plus. That's what I, can't I love tell about you it. How many people have come in here with leaky RTAs because they just had no idea what they were doing? And it's. Ta da! Ta da! Nice. It does look beautiful. It's clean. It's. And you can vape on it <laughs> in an emergency. Is it good? It's delicious. Just think in a week you gotta do that all over again. Actually, no. I do it every day. I change my cock. Really? Every day. <laughs> but that's me. Everybody's got their own preference. Well, okay, so now you've gotten your point on the R uh, the P3 RTA. Um, leave your comments down below if you have any more questions about it. You can um, leave a comment down below and we'll answer it as our best as soon as possible and as best as we can do that. Um, with that being said, no matter what the day may bring in, my friends, always stay vaping, my friends. Stay vaping. Bye. And press like and comment, please. Yes. So, what'd you think about the first vlog? It was the first one, guys. I promise it'll get better. It will. But, you know. Just comment. Yeah. Give us some feedback. It's very smoky in here. And tell us your, your guys' favorite juices, too. Yeah. Ready? Vape it out. Vape blood.